Woo! I'm back in Lancaster, finally. I'm glad. I've been back for a little while, actually. I am quite tired. It was quite a drive. What time did I set off? About four o'clock-ish, got here. Back here about eight o'clock. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses, because it's been quite a long day, and my eyes start to burn with my contact lenses in. I know I look funny. I do sometimes make videos in my glasses. I'm not ashamed of it. I mean, look, look, for instance. Right, better now? Or now? Now? Or now? See, it's better, isn't it? It's a lot better. I hope you couldn't see the state of those glasses then, because they probably need a bit of a wipe. Spinning in towards danger! Right, I wouldn't throw your phone up in the air like that if it costs 500 quid. Not a smart move to make. I have to stand on my landing, because look, oh, that's the only place bright enough at night time to use a front camera on the phone. Oh no, you've just seen my chin in bar. Don't tell anyone that I do chin ups. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that I do 10 chin ups an hour every day. 100 chins a day every. Yeah, I use it all the time. Anyway, I just made myself a little hot chocolate with a bit of Bailey's in it. Don't tell my girlfriend because uh, she might go mad. Uh, anyway, at the end of the day, she doesn't watch these videos anyway. She says she doesn't watch them, but the amount of time she says, I watched your latest video, what's she like? I can't do anything without anyone spying on me. It's really high up here, I really shouldn't have spanned my phone around like that. Maybe I should just stick to doing this instead. But what they don't want to talk to you about, oh, yeah, I've uploaded the video. Uh, of when I was in Cambridge last night, but what actually, what, what made it a little bit funnier, what, I don't want to the microphone up, is last night, after that really long day, and I did that video, and I was rambling, and I was talking rubbish, I'd had my tea, I was back in the room, I went to bed at a reasonable hour, I would say it was about 10, 10 p.m.-ish, something like that, uh, and I was nodding off beautifully, I was so tired of sleep, I just, land of nod, that place where it's about, 10 seconds before your alarm goes off in the morning, I was just kind of in that realm of peace. Next minute, fire alarm goes off. Ah, I was devastated. So I had to get dressed, throw clothes on, glasses on, leg it outstairs. Everyone was piling out. As I walked out of my room, my, my door, there's two like bods from the staff were walking past. And I said, is, it, is this real? What's and they said, we're just going to go and find out now. Because they talked really strangely like that. Anyways. Piled downstairs, I got outside, it was a bit of drizzle rain. By this time, I'm pretty much wide awake. All my efforts of being sleepy had gone out the window. And there's a woman there, a towel on her head. Oh, you know, chatting away, and she didn't sound anything like that either. She wasn't even that old, so I don't know where I'm going with that. But <clears throat> about five minutes later, after being stood outside, I did a quick pan around video, took a picture and tweeted it, sent it to everyone, just because I knew everyone would be interested in that. And the, the travel lodge woman came out, and she went... Hey, can I, where is Miss such and such, and read out her name, and this woman put her hand up, with it, it was a woman with a towel on her head. <laughs> it was you, it was your bloody shower. She left the shower, uh, bathroom door open, whatever, and the steam had set off the sensors and all the alarms had gone off, so everyone was Ooh, pointing at her. But I bet you I was the only person that was actually asleep. Everyone else was probably just doing normal things that they do at 10 p.m. So anyway, back into the room, um, put my head down thing, tried to sort of get some more decent sleep, and I was wide awake then. I was awake till at least, I don't know, about 11-ish, I think. That's only an hour, isn't it? But I mean, it, it, I was really sort of in that realm of long day, really early night. And my mother used to say, two hours before midnight is worth one after it. I think that's what it is, but basically what it means is if you sleep before midnight, it's much better quality sleep, because if you sleep after midnight, the, the time goes quicker. It's not actually worth two hours, but I know what I mean, and that's the main thing, because let's face it, I am actually talking to myself here, you're just watching, you're just listening, you're just paying attention, you're just spying on me, really, when you think about it, you're sort of peering into my life, watching me talk to myself. Weird, eh? Hmm... Oh well, yeah, that's what it was. It was just a quick, I just thought it was quite funny, the fact that I had to go out and I was just, well, it's not that funny, is it? It's not funny at all, <laughs> as is usually the case with these things. But at least I've got a spotlight place that I can stand a video. I'm going to have to get, I don't know if I'm going to get or not, but the iPhone 4 or 4S or whatever, the front camera in night, in night, at the night time is brilliant. I actually tried to video outside, in outside the travel lodge, to try and do a, a quick video. It's just so grainy and liney and unseeable in the dark. This is all right now, and it, I think the spec of this camera is actually better, but I'm boring myself talking about it, so I'm gonna shut up now. Bye bye ah.
spinning outro of death and falling downstairs in doom and nearly crashing into the door and actually getting genuinely dizzy. And I'm going to have to press it quickly.